I think that we're making it happen. I think. Volume up. Damn it. All right. Brooke. Instagram, volume up. Over here. This needs to come forward because the volume needs to come up. Got it. Yeah. For the volume, make sure the volume's all the way up on the phone, please. She is. Sorry, guys. We're, we're knocking it out. Stay with us. Volume all the way up. Can you hear me now? And can you hear me now? Hey, Amber, since you're my homegirl, my phone's being used. Hey, we're going to go for it, man. We're live at the... Um, we are live. I'm so scared that nothing's working. Thanks, Double H Homestead. For having my back this morning and thanks for helping mama just in to adjust this i'll try to sing loud because i have a microphone here and i got this big old fat thing in my face we're just gonna try man i'll do one song and then you guys let me know if this is um, going down or if it's not and if it is <laughs> thank you jesus if it's not i'm an idiot and we've tried okay say and do or is, is say thank you so much for woodshed stage art for allowing me to be a part of their family so for friends and people in the inner world internet world who may or may not know oh god i got a camera here that camera there and i got this big old fat thing in my face um woodshed stage art is your premier and your prime place to go to if you need something if you play in a band or if you play if you have a uh 
oh God, I guess they could probably put things up everywhere. Like even if I still played uh, baseball, they could probably put some big old things out in the outfield like scrims, as they call it, or uh, for high schools and, and anywhere that you needed to. But for us, we found them because they will print art directly on a kick drum head of our choice. And my best pal on the planet, my Fast second favorite, sorry Daniel if you're watching, Nate Kuhn found stage art 10 years ago and said, hey man, we want this art, but I want this kick drum. I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth from Instagram to Facebook. And uh, we became friends with Dominic and all their peeps, man. Um, wow. And here we are, 10 years later. I'm in South Austin at my house, wishing I was hanging out with Mike and the gang up in Chicago making pizzas and eating till I threw up. But you know what? I'm not. So here we are. So thank you, Dominique, and thank you for the all the gang and the squad over at Woodshed Stage Art for having us and for uh, letting us be a part of your small family. We love you. My name's Bart Crow. I live in South Austin, Texas, and I'm going to play some music for you for the next 20, 30 minutes. And if you don't like it, well, shut up. I'm kidding. If you don't like it, just don't tell me. Uh, I have two new records that I'm ready to release. However, um, oh my God, my eyesight is so bad, dude. I'm 43 years old, and it's it's like from me to you, I can't see Jack Squat and beyond that. But uh, like up here, I'm like my dad. I'm like, oh yeah, that says uh, you need two tablespoons. Anyway, um, I have two records ready to rock, man. But um, with this quarantine. Like the rest of us, um, we're not doing much with it. So, uh, therefore, we are sitting down and uh, being homeschool teachers. Here's a song. It's called Boots. It'll be on the next record. Stick a pole down in 
passion pills Anything that makes me numb You're her or my way Crime won't bring her home I'm putting my boots back on Hey, I'm putting my boots back on Call my buddies I'm putting my boots back on I might do a little hunter That's a new song called Boots. Heck yeah, Esther, pull up a chair. Uh, I won't get over here, golly. See, man, I'm like my dad. I can't see over there, I can't see over there. I'm good at this, I know over there. Uh, you're doing the best and great. Oh, <laughs> uh, so my wife just wrote me on Facebook and said, you're doing the best and the greatest and I Instantly just wanted to yell at her and said, actually, honey, I love you, but it's Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, but then it's uh, signed by my firstborn, Towns Blaine Tebow. So that's okay, buddy. Thank you. Uh, hey, man, thank y'all for being here tonight. Got 48 on Facebook. I got 10 on Instagram Live. Oh, nine. Guess I should have stopped talking. Anyway, uh, and then Big Block hit me up earlier. From Georgia, all the way from Georgia. And yeah, that's just water, but I know uh, Mama Bird's going to bring me something nice in here. Sure. So uh, wherever you are tonight, if you're taking the time to listen to the, the stuff that I'm spitting out, thank you. I love you with all my heart. It is a crazy, crazy time, and I don't need to say anything else. Let's play some music. I'll give you my, uh, my love. Uh, before we get off the phone tonight, okay? But thank you for being here. I love you.
were very kind and talking. I'm sorry. I, I'll i be better next time. I promise. Um, oh, stop it. Um, I'm going to play another song that I wrote for my beautiful wife. And, um, man, damn it. My phone's on this side on Instagram. My iPad's on this side for Facebook. But I, uh, and she'd be real pissed if I if she knew, because she's outside, I can see her. She's not listening anymore. But um, I would love to show y'all a gorgeous picture of her. She's in South Austin, and she's the, like the only human being in South Austin whose stomach is bigger than mine during this quarantine. But she has a human growing in her, and I don't. So we still have that against us. So, man, we still have to do some wrestling contests. But I wrote this song for her. And when I wrote this, I had just written the song, um, holy hell, I don't remember what it's called. Was it Queen of Me? Good. Sorry, guys. Um, I don't know. Shit, look at this. Nate Coon made me buy a microphone, and uh, Ryan Coggins made me buy a dad gun. $200 microphone and a $150 interface, so blame the Wi-Fi on everybody else. Yeah, I'm back. Anyway, uh, we live, we used to live over on Del Curto here in South Austin, which is um, behind Maria's Taco Express off South Lamar, and um, Brooke was pregnant with Towns, and I wrote this song. And Matt Slagle, who is one of my favorite human beings in the world, but he's also the biggest butthole in the world, was like, oh, that's a, that's a Hayes Carl tune. And I'm like, well, you know what? Shut up. And it's not a Hayes Carl tune. It's a Bart Crow tune. It's called Thank You, and I wrote it for my wife. Because you were sick. Hey, Maddie. 
You want to come watch the kids? Maddie will probably just get off the... I'm kidding. Teasing. You were sitting on the front steps with a wine glass in your hand. North side of Waxahachie where I tried to make a stand. And I sat down beside you. You smiled and I said hi. I knew I had to have you. And I knew that I'd die trying. And you looked just like an angel. Like I've never seen before. I was all the way from Georgia where I'd gone to fight the war. I knew that I had fell in love when I drove away that night. I wanted to say thank you for bringing me this life.
Well, I think I'm leaving here today. I'm gonna pack my bags and walk away. I'm heading nowhere, but I hear that I don't know when I'm there. So I think I'm headed out west. Friends all tell me the two songs the best. Tell my mom and dad to write them when I have some time. Tell my brother and sister, miss the most. Blast them each day with the sun and only goes. I thank you, Lord, for letting me be set free. Cause I may run with the devil. I may run with the devil. I may run with the devil. He's never catching up. my plans if I see my daddy cry from the letters yeah I let him know that I'm alright so I think I'm headed out west my friends all tell me the two songs the best tell my mom and dad to write them when I have some time tell my brother and sister miss most bless me each day with the sun and holy ghost. I thank you, Lord, for letting me be set free. Cause I may run with the devil. I may run with the devil. I may run with the devil, but he's never catching up with me. Tell my mom and dad to write them when I have a little time. And tell my brother and my sister, Mr. Moose, I bless me each day with the sun. Holy Ghost, I thank you, Lord, for letting me be set free. Thank you, Faith. Cause I may run with the devil. two or three more and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say goodbye and so uh, just wanna say thank you Woodshed not only thank you Woodshed and Dominique and they uh, amazing art group but like man they keep us looking slick on stage have you seen our stage set up I mean I haven't even seen our stage set up in a month of Sundays if you will oh my god this one was over here and this was over how old am I? Anyway, um, stay strong, Faith. Um, yeah, man. Tip of the hat to my boy uh, Daniel Hawkins, my uh, drummer, my my left hand, uh, back beat of the Bark Crow band the last couple years, and he uh, he and Dominique got together. Dominique and I have got together. Like we all got together, and our stage looks rad as. What they say, rad AF. Don't tell my kids I said that. But anyway, uh, shit looks good. So go check out Wood Wood Stage Art. Yeah, I tried to do something. Hey, Dominic, I, I know Dominique's watching right now, and uh, he's a busy gentleman, and I'm a busy gentleman, and I've got this George Jetson little bubble right here. Anyway, 
Uh, buddy, I tried to I tried to give something out like um, that that video I did today. I don't believe in doing two takes on a social media video, but it was like, uh, check out uh, Wood Stage Art. They do all our stage art. Oh, 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 damn it. Well, of course they do. It's in the name. Anyway. <laughs> shout out to Daniel, though. Shout out to, shout out to all my boys. Like, um, I have been blessed. This is my third or fourth opportunity to get to play songs that we usually go around the, oh, excuse me, sorry, the globe and get to play. And you beautiful people may or, I don't even know if there's tip jars. I don't care. I love to play music. However, if there if there is, this will be my third or fourth time to get to call my boys up and be like, hey, guess what? Daddy's got a tip for you. And even if it's ten bucks, man, we're uh, we're all friends. I love my band. I love Hunter, best friend in the whole wide world, planet ever. Uh, Daniel, Bobo, if he's even a real person, and Brandon. And um, used to love Ben, but he quit the band, so he's dead to me. And so, um, anything you tip in there tonight, I'm just gonna split it with my boys. That way, T Bay. And uh, Bad Truth Podcast can't be texting or tweeting bullshit about people not taking care of band members because I do, because I love my guys, because without them, I'm not me. I can't roll a lot, but I still love them with all my heart. So, uh, I'm going to do a cover song. My son keeps writing on my wife's Instagram page. <laughs> I saw one while ago. That's what made me giggle during uh, uh, Run With The Devil. I started laughing and I apologize to anybody that really wanted to hear that song because I heard like, you're an amazing, or, like I read, you're amazing. <laughs> and now see, no you, no you are not. And it's T-Bone. So I'm about to go in there and kick his ass. <laughs> booty, booty, boo, 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 booty. T-Bone, your booty. I'm going to play this cover. That, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna play one of my songs first that Gary asked for. Long 
she still haunts my dreams at night. Say the reason that she left me is laying in the bottom of this glass. This glass. And I wonder how long it's going to take my broken heart to pass. song because right after Towns had sent me that message about no you did not and I T-bone and I mouth off and I plainly said something and then I corrected it I had a, uh, a message come back from my wife that said come on dude and so that doesn't make you sit well so I guess we're going to play for another four hours so she forgets Joe, Jayden, ladies and gentlemen it's a cover song uh Request, by request, a uh, cover song of my choice. So we're going to do this. And I've done this for a lot of years. And uh, I have a plethora of cover songs. But uh, this is my favorite because this is my dude. Anyway, here's Wonder Wall. Yeah. 
feel better day. Sassy artwork and stage presence. And I did not mean to lick my finger when I said that because now I threw up in my mouth. Anyway, if you are in a band and or any type of public presence without <laughs> Fat Cheeks McGee back there, get on that wood stage on wood. I can't even say the damn name right. Oh, woodshed stage art. I talk to Dominique at least three times a year, but in those t three times, like we talk all the time. So anyway, get at him. And my name is Bart Crow, and 
me and my boys, we travel all over the United States, 12 months out of the year, pre-COVID-19, and all over the world, wherever we can go. However, we do have music on iTunes and Amazon Music and anywhere else that you can use it and Spotify included and Pandora. Yeah. So check it out because I'm going to do a couple concerts for myself. Try to feed my family. Or feed myself. But you know what? We're all in this together. I know everybody says that. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I truly mean it with all my heart. I went to Tarleton State University. I graduated with 500 degrees. I'm probably the smartest human being ever built, made. But I'm a touring musician, and now all of a sudden, I'm teaching two kindergartners. Yes, that means two. Yeah, I'm so powerful. I made two babies at one time. So I'm a double kindergarten teacher and a third grade teacher. I don't want to be. But that's okay. That's my part of us being here together. So is my wife. You know, I think she really has always wanted to be a teacher. I give her a hard time because I think after all this lives, she's going to go volunteer at the cafeteria and bark at children for all day long. So that's fine too. Anyway. <laughs> Gotta stick in this together, right? I mean, we can't not do it. You can be like the assholes that go protest, but you're dumb. I shouldn't say that. That's very irresponsible of me. In my humble opinion, that is not an intelligent decision to make when scientists say that you should do something else. If you're just looking for something to grab about, bark about, well then just go bark about something. And that's okay too. Just be safe while you do it, okay? It's just a face mask. It's just a glitch in our livelihood. You know, I've prayed to the good Lord, and I hope that I have 80 years. So if I live for 80 years, I'm sorry, I'm going to Instagram. If I live for 80 years, I'm already at 43, so I'm halfway through it. So I said I have half of my life left. If this is just a little glitch on the radar, I'm going to be okay. And then whenever I get to talk to my new baby, and then my children, when they're old enough to understand, then I'm going to be like, man, Remember that year? That was bonkers. Y'all drove me batshit crazy. However, we survived because we wore masks. We washed our hands. Oh my God, that's not an infringement upon my freedom. That's a pull your head out of your ass and just be clean. Okay? Just my two cents on it. <laughs> Sorry, what shit? I love you. Dominique! You said keep it sweet and sassy. And I saw you rock me. United States Armed Forces and all of our first responders and everybody on the front lines in our medical profession where we love doctors, nurses, EMTs, and purses. Little angel with a bottle. I love you guys. Come find me. Bless you. Good night.